What's going on everyone? Agent Trico back with another video and my booster box is here. Look how fancy it is. It's all bent up and stuff because that's what happens when you get it in the mail. I'm so excited. So I haven't had the greatest pulls so far. The best thing I've pulled was a full art welder, which is fine. That's one of the priciest, most playable cards in the set. Don't get me wrong. But, um, you know, obviously looking for some more, some Charizards and stuff like that, but it's okay. So the good thing about a booster box is you're more or less guaranteed at least one textured card, if not two. So yeah, I'm gonna keep that booster box just because I can. All right, cool. So we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. We got a lot of packs to get through. Not trying to waste anybody's time. Let's do it. First green code card, lovely. Fire, nope. All right, Diglett, Poliwag, Inke, Tentacool, Drowsy, so Spritzy and a Perugly. So for the most part, I've pulled the majority of, if not all, of the comments on comments. So I'm just gonna kick through most of those. If you've been watching my videos, you also have been watching me pull the majority of the comment on comments in this set. Two, three, four to the front. First white coat card of the box, fire. Nope, psychic. All right, energy spinner. Charge Bug, Chip Chip Ice Axe, I love that card, Crab Brawler, Oddish, Squirtle, Tentacool, Aeron, Charge Bug Reverse, and ooh, we got some Charizard love. All right, our first GX is none other than Reshiram Charizard GX. Even though this is the regular one, this one's still going for like 30 bucks, apparently. So we might as well just top load it because somebody will buy this thing. I have like five or six of these in Japanese and uh, apparently not worth nearly as much as these ones, but that's okay. Great first GX to pull out of the three or four we get out of the box. I think, I think English is four. In uh, Japan, you're lucky to get four. In those booster boxes, you're only guaranteed three. Three ultra rares, one secret. Fire. All right. Hapini, Dust Island, Golbat, Murkrow, Oddish, Mischievous, flying away, apparently. Salandit, Glammeow, Drowsy Reverse, and a Weezing. I haven't seen that one yet. Pretty cool artwork. All right. Let's see what we can do in this next pack. White Code card, okay. Boom. Let's go with Metal Energy this time. Grass. All right. Weeping Bell, Surprise Box, Torcat, Meowth, Grubbin, Geodude, Litten, Froki, our reverse is a Litten, and our next GX is a Venomoth GX. I don't know, I don't understand why those eyes gotta be so creepy. Venomoth GX, it's not necessarily the one you wanna get. He looks cool though. All right, second GX down. Out of the four we should get in the box. I know you don't necessarily double up on the same type of GX, but I'd love to get another regular um, Charizard Reshiram GX, obviously. Right, oh, that was... Porygon 2, it's uncommon, and a Meowstick. Meowstick. Right. Keep on trucking. Another green code card. Ooh. Meltan, Wooper, Rhyhorn, and a Miss Magius. Okay. Fairy energy. Whoa. Alright. What do you guys think about this set so far? There's a lot of cards in it. But there's only a handful that are super playable and really worth anything. Even a lot of the GXs and stuff like that, they're not worth... I mean, Green's Exploration is worth something, Welder, the Charizards, but everything else, even the other alternate arts, they're not really worth much of anything. Arbok. Mana Seeking. So far, it's still opening day, or release day for me here. I'm still going through all the stuff that I've picked up. After today, um, it'll be just random small things here and there, small items from this set. Um, I still mostly go for Japanese, um, but I'm excited to see what tins they come out for this and then the extra stuff. It's a nice slow bro. And the uh, different type of product for this set. 
I'm going to keep opening it here and there until we get um, all the Charizards, obviously. Leaf Energy. Frogadier. Beastbringer. Power Plant. Aeron. Seal. Bellsprout. Ghastly. Carbana Unana. Poliwag. And Stack Attacka. Stack Attacka. Green. Esper Kingler. Green. Geodude Sandslash. Green. <laughs> So many green code cards, Rayhorn Gal, Cubone, Ratata, Tangrowth, aka Windslapper, sleeping up against a tree. Another green code card. Alright, Inke Butterfree. Another green code card. Fire fighting. Jigglypuff, Quagsire. All right, we're getting down to the end of the left side of the box. Still have only pulled two GXs. Here's a white code card right here. Four to the front. Let's go Psychic Metal Energy. All right, first white code card in like six packs. Lieutenant Surge Strategy. Samson, oh, gotta love that card. Draw two cards of both active Pokemon around the same type. Draw two more. That could be convenient if you know who you're playing against and what kind of deck they use. Be like a situational thing you put in and out of your deck as you see fit, I guess. Ryulu, Reverse, and a Malamar Hollow. Okay. I wonder if anyone's still playing Malamar decks. I wonder if that Malamar in this set is worth using in those decks. Another white coat card. All right. Look at that. Water. Fairy. Triple Acceleration Energy. Fairy Charm. Tyrogue. Golding. Darumaka. Sandile. Salandit. Coughing. Reverse Welder. That's a good one to get. And Koga's Trap. Alright. Not the greatest textured card we want, but it's still a cool card nonetheless. Great centering, actually. I have this one in Japanese. It's not really worth anything. It's a cool card, though. Cool card, nonetheless. Alright. Koga's Trap, huh? Maybe we'll get lucky. And we'll get another texture card. Green. Giovanni's Exile. Oddish. Triple Acceleration Energy Reverse, that's a good one to get. And a Slazzle. Alright, we are last pack left side. So far the left side gave us two of our GXs and a textured card. We're still looking for a minimum of uh, our full art. Um, well, so this might, this might take the place of the full art Pokemon that we would have gotten, which is crappy because I would have loved to try to get the uh, full art Charizard Reshiram, obviously. Nice pack right there, Duramitan and Alandris. Alright, we are on the right side of the box. And uh, yeah, so that probably takes the full art spot, which means we're looking for our hyper rare card, I guess you could say. Uh, Lightning, Weeping Bell, Surprise Box, Torcat, Clefairy, Poliwake, Ekans, Drowsy, Pikachu, Porygon, Reverse with a Crocodile. Green code card. Green's Exploration, Drowsy Cubone, Crab Roller, Sandile, Caterpie Reverse with an Aromatisse. Still looking for two more regular GXs as well. Not in this pack. Water Energy, Dust Island. Pukan Yu, Fire Crystal, Cubone, Ryulu, Porygon, Inkay, Caterpie, Oddish, Incineroar. Still haven't gotten that Incineroar in his hollow form. But, uh, he's a cool looking card, I guess. 
All right, and we got a white coat card. Let's go. <laughs> One, two, three, four to the front. Water, psychic. Gliscor, triple acceleration energy. Energy spinner, salandit. Glamiao, diglet. Poliwag, Inke. Slazzle is our reverse. Oh, I'm throwing cards everywhere. And a Violet Plume Hollow. All right. No GX there. Another white code card. Boom. Four to the front. Water. Fighting. The Evolution Spray Z. Metapod. Kogus Trap. Oh, skipped a Bellsprout. Giovanni's Diglett. Poliwag. Rhyhorn. Rowlet. Our reverse is a Spiro and another GX for us. We got a Marshadow Machamp Punchy. Tag Team GX. Okay. Not bad. Okay, we're looking for one more GX. And our last textured card. Mental Energy. Welder, Laron, Litten, Sanchu, Murkrow, Oddish, Mischievous, and our Haunter is a reverse with a Licky Licky. Not bad. Another green code card. Water, maybe? Fairy. Folly Whirl, Salad, Coughing, Diglett, Mischievous, and Wigglytuff. Card. Boom. Four to the front. Ooh. Water energy. Him on top. Chatot. Malane. Rhyhorn. Ratata. Golden. Alolan. Diglett. Slowpoke. Salandit reverse. And there is our last textured card. It is a Gardevoir Sylveon. GX Tag Team Hyper Rare. What a beautiful looking card. I do not have this one in Japanese, surprisingly enough. I have all the other ones, but not in Japanese. All right, cool. I'm not going to complain about that. It's a nice looking card. It's an okay box. It's an okay box. Well, let's top load that because why not? Always happy to get a hyper rare. Always happy to get a hyper rare. Okay. Unfortunately, our Kogus Trap took off that uh, full art card that we would have loved to get. But it happens. Still a decent box. This was a green code card, a chat tot with a Sharpedo. Green code card there. Tentacool with a Dramatan. Nice. Another green code card. So many green code cards. Water. Hey, you got it. Tangrowth, that's a rare. And Clefable. Another green code card for you. Fairy. Nope. Zara Aura, reverse rare with a Crabominal. Licky, another reverse rare with a Blissuffle on. One, two, three, four, five packs left. Not a bad box. Here's a white code card. This might be our last GX. Out of these five packs here. Fighting Energy. Lieutenant Surge's Strategy. Electromagnetic Radar. Cleffa. Krabby. Ryolu. Esper. Porygon, Darumaka, Reverse is a Diglett, and a Volcanian Hollow. Okay, that's not our last one. Four packs to go. White code card. Okay, that's good to see. Let's go with Fighting Steel. Samson Oak, my man. 
Janine, Raticade, Rhyhorn, Meltan, Spiro, Lickitung, Linton, Rhyhorn Reverse with Celesteela GX. All right, and there's our final GX for the box. Very uneventful. A few GXs here with the Venomoth Celesteela. A couple little tag team ones, though. Not bad. All right, last three packs. There shouldn't be anything else in this box. I don't think so. No, nope. green code card. Boom. A Meowth with an Arbok. Two packs. Green code card. Fire. It is a Marowak Aaron. Aaron. All right, ladies and gentlemen, last pack of my first booster box opening of Unbroken Bonds. Let me know what you think about the polls. Hyper Rare is always a good poll. I think out of all the tag teams other than the Charizard Rush Ram, I think these two would be the most valuable, I guess you could say. Wrong cards again. All right, last pack. Did I do the pack trick yet? Nope. Fairy Energy. I already saw it. Not that good. All right, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button. There's a lot of code cards here, so someone's going to be lucky or a couple people, whoever's quick enough to get here. Last card of the opening is... Oh, we did get another textured card. What a box. The last pack gives us a full art muck and muck. Wow. Well, that's pretty lucky. Look at that. So this was an extra. This wasn't even, this is what we're supposed to get in the box. This is an extra. That's super cool. All right, cool. So really good booster box, actually. So we pull a Muck and Muck Full Art. I don't have any more top loaders over here. I'll get some more. So we got a Koga's Trap, Full Art, Muck Muck GX, and a Gardevoir Sylveon Hyper Rare. And then our normal four GXs, one being the Charizard Reshiram that everyone's looking for, Venomoth, Celesteela, and the Punchins. Punchy Punches. What a box. Beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. B-E-A-U-T-Full. All right, well, I'm not going to complain about that. Beautiful box. Well, thanks for stopping by. That's all I got. Um, more videos to come. As always, I got like another trainer box and like, like seven more booster packs of Unbroken Bonds to finish going through. And then once those are done, that, that's all I got for now. Um, but I do want to show off some of the singles that I bought from Troll and Toad. Uh, not sponsored whatsoever, just trying to keep my collection going. Um, they're all Japanese, so I apologize if you don't care about Japanese, but I got an Umbreon. So I got some promo type cards, Totodile and Chikorita. Yeah, what do you think about that? And Brock's Krogunk. I think that's just super cool. Alright, we got Dark Dragonite from Rocket. Unlimited, obviously. We got Dark Charizard. Unlimited Rocket. Blastoise. Dark Blastoise. Unlimited Rocket. I got the the Pikachu cosplay of Rowlet. I thought that was so cool. It's um it's a Pokemon Center exclusive from Togo. Toyuko. I'm not sure which Pokemon Center that is, but yeah. And I got the Sapporo. So Sapporo's in the northern portion of Japan. Um it's where the beer company is, Sapporo Beer. They're up there. A lot of snowboarding. Um, and they do an ice festival, well-known ice festival up there in Sapporo every year. So yeah, so this is a, a grand opening promo from the Pokemon Center Sapporo exclusive. Super cool card, super cute. And then I got a reverse energy just because it's hollow and, you know, we don't really do that anymore. So I thought I had to pick it up. And then we got Rocket Zapdos. How cool is that? Rocket Moltres. Rockets Mewtwo and Blaine's Charizard. So yeah, and honestly, not too expensive because the Japanese versions of a lot of these cards, like all these fancy cards here, they're not nearly as expensive as the English versions, and that's fine um, because the old backpacks, old back meaning from back in the day, they had the old the back of the card was older looking. They um, they were all guaranteed a hollow in every pack. So if you went out and bought a booster box of Fossil. From Japanese you would get a hollow in every pack it's guaranteed so it made these much less rare than um, trying to find the one 
in an English booster box. So, not too expensive. I might have paid, I think I paid less than 50 bucks for this whole lot. Some of them are nice enough to, to maybe grade as an 8 or 9. One of them maybe a 10. So, not a bad uh, little grouping of cards in my opinion. But yeah, so that's all I got. Um, like I said, more to come. Smash that like button, all that good jazz. Thanks for stopping by. It's been a long video, I know. I was super excited to open this booster box, and this is why. The pull rate hasn't been ha uh, good for me, but this, this booster box, I'm not going to complain. That's an awesome amount of textured cards. So yeah, thanks for stopping by. As always, deuces.